welcome everyone. Um, my name is Karen Kelly and I'm from the Office of Work Life and I am delighted to have you here today for a demonstration of the new um, mindfulness app that uh, the Office of Work Life and Harvard University uh, is offering all benefits eligible faculty and staff, the 10% Happier app. Um, and I'm happy to introduce uh, both Roy and Josh from the 10% Happier team who will be um, going through a demonstration of the app. This is really to learn about the app. If you're having difficulties downloading it or getting it onto your um, smart device, um, this is not the probably the best place to bring those questions up. If you are having installation issues, please email the Office of Work Life mailbox and um, I will be sure to get back to you to verify your eligibility, let you know which email address uh, we've used to verify your eligibility, um, and we'll get it loaded for you. Um, so this really is to learn about the app um, and all of its wonderful features. So without further ado, I guess I'm gonna actually say with 51 people here, we're gonna use the chat function to ask your questions, um, or if you'd like to raise your hand, um, we can unmute and ask that you stay muted um, during the session just so that we don't hear background noises. Um, and so, so far we have 51 people um, with us today in the audience, so that's pretty cool. I'm very excited to have you all. And without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Roy, who's on this side of me anyways, um, from the half year. Good morning, and thank you to my right. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this interactive demo of how to use 10% Happier. Again, this, is, this interactive experience is something that we have designed for you to, to help you feel more comfortable with how we're generally going to be using the app going forward. And by the time we're done with this demo, you're going to know a couple of key features. One of which is we are going to take you through how to be able to log into the app, how to know a little bit more about our profile, we're then going to take you through a tour through our courses, singles, sleep, and talk meditations, so you have a better idea how to interact with our content itself. We're going to show you how to be able to favorite, download, and share these items, as well as kind of curate your own personal list of how to use our content. And then finally, we're going to bring it full circle, and we're going to show you how to be able to go further by using some of the key features within profile, and of course, explain, explain a little bit more about the 10% Happier app itself. Now, before we begin, I'd just like to be able to give you a little context. Now, two years ago, I was in a position very similar to all of you. I was I, teaching classes at my local Apple store as a creative pro, when all of a sudden I was presented with this peculiar benefit on behalf of my employers. Now, call it the right intersection to be able to try something new, but at that time, I was that skeptic that Dan Harris referred to. I was perfectly willing to try meditation, but I did not have a good first step or really know where I was gonna go from this journey. And I really just wanna be able to pass that along as an inspirational nod to you guys. Just to know that again, everything that I have done since there has been built upon my willingness to continue it, my willingness to sit still when maybe it may not feel as comfortable, and of course, just one breath to get it all started. I'm going to take just a moment to get my screen share started, and we're going to go ahead and get through this 10% happier demo experience. And of course, we're going to start by getting you logged in. Give me just a second. Let's get our screen share going, and we'll continue on with this demo. But again, welcome, and thanks so much for joining us today. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and open my 10% happier app. And when you do this, we are going to see our welcome screen, which shows Dan Harris enjoying a mindful moment amongst the fast pacing world around him. So if you haven't already, what you would be doing here is you're going to tap on get started to create an account. And at this point, you will be using your primary Harvard email address. Now, in this particular case, I already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the very bottom where it says already have an account sign in. And at this point, I am going to choose my sign in with email option.
I'm just going to enter my email address and password. And I'm going to tap on sign in at the very bottom of the screen. So once we've unlocked and we've signed into the app, let's also first point out some of the things that we're going to see at the very bottom of our screen. We're going to see five distinct icons. And the first one that we're going to go ahead and tap on is going to be at our far right where it says profile. Now, as I tap on profile, immediately below the word profile, we can see the mindful dazed statistics, which is going to show the total number of sessions visited, total minutes meditated, and a current streak of consecutive days. Now, we at 10% Happier, especially in the support staff, we hear users that both love and maybe not love so much the idea of statistics. And we even have people, just to let you know, that will write in to us and say, I may have missed a streak. I didn't have a meditation count. Will you please help us out? I do want to let you know that that is a service that we are happy to help you with. But I do also want to kind of give a little bigger context to these meditation statistics. These are meant to help those new to meditation develop a healthy habit and use that reinforcement to continue on with the meditation practice. However, when you see at the very end of any meditation you do, you are going to see these statistics pop up. If you simply feel fulfillment in just actually completing the meditation and do not want to worry about the statistics, you're going to see a little button at the bottom that says continue, tap on it twice, and that'll simply exit out of the statistics altogether. But again, directly before below profile is where you're going to see all of those numbers being compiled. Now, as we're still on the profile page, I'm now going to go ahead and tap on the uh, settings icon wheel in the top right corner. And let's take a look at some of the things we're going to see in our settings page. When I tap on account, at this point, we are going to see my name, email address, and the method that I use to be able to log in, which in this particular case is going to be sign in with email. When I tap on subscription, we are going to see that this is an organization type subscription and the expiration date itself. Now on this particular screen, we are also going to see the back arrow in the top left corner. So anytime we tap on that arrow, that's always gonna allow us to take a step back within the app. A lot of you that may be comfortable with using your say smart devices will see these type of intuitive arrows and just know that these are placed throughout the 10% Happier app as well. Now, as we're looking at the settings page, we're gonna start to see some other things as we start to scroll down the page as well. Under manage, we are going to see that we have a reminder section where we have the ability to toggle our daily reminders on and off. And right underneath that, we are going to see our download section, which is going to show us any of the meditations that we have downloaded for offline use. We can choose whether we want to download them only to Wi-Fi, and then it will show you how much space you have available and the ability to remove any downloads to make space for additional ones. Now, as I scroll down the settings page just a little bit more, you're gonna find that Apple and Android users are gonna see slightly different interfaces here in profile. So for instance, in this particular case where it says connect, Apple Health and Siri shortcuts are obviously gonna be native just to iOS devices. But we do want to let you know that both Apple and Android technology will both have unique accessibility features that will work with 10% Happier, and that does include closed captions on quite a bit of our content within the app itself. Now, one other thing that I'd like to point out to you here in the settings is that you are going to see that we have a support section with three distinct tabs on it. And this is something that users of both devices will be able to see. Our meditation FAQ covers questions ranging from, can I lay down to meditate, to working with distractions when you're trying to meditate. And we're gonna see an example that will lead you to our help.10% happier FAQ for that particular information. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done. Now under Support Center, we are gonna see articles for different types of topics, such as account management, general inquiries, app features, and navigations. 
Of course, you can see that whenever I tap on done, it's gonna bring us right back to the app itself. And then finally, if you'd like a more direct line to us in support, you are gonna choose the email support, which is what Android users are gonna see, or on this particular case, you are gonna see that it says contact for iOS. This will then reach out and create, as you can see here, a support email that will then allow us to be able to send something directly to us at support. And of course, we will reach out to you and respond to you as soon as possible. Now, there's a lot of more things. There's a couple more things that we are going to revisit in our profile later on. But for now, let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about the app. And for that, I'd like us to go ahead and refer back to that bottom tab one more time. And we are going to start by tapping on courses so that we can take a look at a little bit more of what we offer here at 10% Happier. Now, as we tap on courses and we look at the screen ahead of us, we are going to see that these courses are organized by a common theme. For instance, basics, 10% live, healthy habits, stress better. There's a wide variety of different types of courses that can be taken here. And of course, the, the, I, the objective of courses is to give you a template to help kind of build skills that you need to better set yourself up for creating a meditation practice. Now, I know for myself, and maybe even Joshua can speak to his own engagement here, but I find that these courses are a great opportunity to be able to show to create an end for that which you're interested in. Now, I've stopped on this particular point in the screen right here because you may see in the middle of it, we see performance with George Mumford. Now, outside of me taking the basics courses for the very first time, I was really drawn to the performance course with George Mumford because as you can see by the description, this is the gentleman who taught Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant how to meditate. So this was my end for taking it to another particular level. And so when we tap on that course, as we go down a little bit further on the screen, we're gonna see a, a quick bio about our actual instructor, in this case, George Mumford. And then we're gonna see each individual lesson as part of, of this course. Now you're gonna see that each says video and meditation. When I tap on one of these, and I'm not going to do so because we have sound issues where it is going to make the sound extremely loud on your end, but I would like to make you aware that when I tap on one of these, the first thing you're going to see within courses is you're going to see the video play. Now, at the very top, you're going to see two distinct bars, one that says learn and one that says meditate. If you, by chance, don't want to watch the video and go straight to the meditation, go ahead and tap on where it says meditate. And of course, if you wanna go back to the video, you're gonna tap on where it says learn. But again, the context of what these videos are doing is just helping you understand what this particular lesson is trying to help you with. And of course, this is where Dan Harris has been going further with that particular teacher to show you a little bit more about what can be done with this. Now, in this particular case, I'm gonna hit my back arrow on performance. And as you can see, scrolling down this, our page, we have quite a few options for different courses that are gonna be available to you. But let's say, for instance, that you are more interested in finding that one perfect meditation that speaks to whatever your day brings. And maybe we don't have time to do an entire course. For that, I'm gonna have you follow me over to Singles, which is gonna be right next to Courses. And as you can see by the description, again, find that perfect meditation for whatever your day brings. Now at the very top, you are gonna see what is called our Daily Dose, which is a different featured meditation every day that celebrates the variety offered here at 10% Happier. And of course, just as it says, this will change every particular day. Now, as I scroll down our page just a little further, you can see that there's a variety of topics grouping these different singles together. So if you maybe find that today is a wake up day and I want to be able to start the day off strong, you can select there. What I'm going to do to give you a little better insight into singles is we're going to go back up to where it says great for beginners. And of course, at this point, we're going to tap to go to our next screen. Now, what we can see for any of these is we're going to see the name of the particular meditation. We're going to see the teacher that is offering it. 
And then you're going to see that we have a little bit of a time variable, which in the case of, say, breath relaxation with orange A sulfur, we're going to see that it has a 5 to 15 minute variable. So what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to go ahead and tap on one of these singles, and let's get a better understanding of what we can do once we actually select our meditation. So as I select breath relaxation with orange J sulfur, we're going to see that at the very top right, we have three distinct icons. If we want to be able to download our meditation for offline use, we're going to tap on the cloud with the down arrow, which is then going to go into our download section that we just saw a moment ago in profiles. To be able to share with other 10% happier users, I would then be tapping on the up arrow that is in the middle of the bracket right next to our cloud symbol. And then finally, if I wanna be able to favorite the meditation, I'm gonna tap on the heart in the top right corner so that you're gonna see it turn red, just as we see there. Now, I also mentioned as we're opening singles that there was that time variable is that you could see that Orange J. Sofer offered this particular meditation from anywhere from five to 15 minutes. Let's say 10 minutes is just too much time for where you are in your day. I'm gonna then go ahead and tap on the time bubble at the very bottom where it says 10 minutes. And now I have the ability to choose. So I'm gonna tap on where it says five minutes. That has readjusted my time. And at this particular point, I can then tap on the red playhead in the very middle of the screen and this will begin the meditation itself. Now, as just a little side note again, as your meditation is finished, you will see the pop-up message that then shows how this relates to your meditation statistics. And again, if these are things that you do not want to see in your beginning moments, just quickly tap on the continue button twice, and it will exit out of the meditation for you. Now, just as I mentioned with the back arrow, at certain times you are gonna see the X in the top left corner of our screen. So I'm gonna tap on the black X, which is gonna take me back to our single screen, and then I'm gonna use the back arrow one more time so that I'm back on the main singles page. I'd also like to be able within this section to make you aware of our search feature. Now for iOS users, I'm gonna have you follow along with me. We are gonna be scrolling down to the very bottom of our single screen where we see a magnifying glass that says looking for something. In this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and type in a word. And in doing so, when I type in the word love, in my search feature, I can now see that I have singles and talks that are specifically relating to that particular subject. So the nice part is maybe if you're in the app and you're not sure where to go, but you have that keyword of what you're looking for. And believe me, as an end user, I have tried a lot of different things. At one particular day, I said, I'm about to go, I'm about to go on a lengthy walk. Let me see if I can find a meditation for that. And you can find it using the search feature. Again, we get a lot of comments that come in to support where beginning users will feel that they want to be able to better navigate through it. And we always find this is one of the key features that we want to be able to show you about. Now, as I'm exiting out of this particular screen, again, I mentioned iOS users will be going to the bottom of the screen. Android users, you will be looking on your screen for the magnifying glass in the top right corner. When you tap on that magnifying glass, it'll take you to the exact same screen, type in your keyword, and you will then see results. Now, at the bottom of the single thing, there is one more thing I'd like to be able to point out to you. And you can see that where we have teachers, and as I'm scrolling across right now, we have the ability to then search out content based on the teachers of the apps themselves. As you can see, we have a lot of different teachers that are available to us. And let's say, for instance, if I tap on Jay Michelson, when we tap on our teacher, we can see a short bio by that particular teacher. And then as we scroll down, we are going to see different contributions from them throughout the app. You are going to see some in the case of Jay are going to include singles. We have sleeps and we have talks. And we're about to shed a little bit more light on what both of those items are. Again, just always remembering how to comfortably navigate through the app. We're going to tap on our back arrow to go back to our main single screen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now tap on our sleep button at the very bottom and in the middle of the screen. 
Now our sleep meditations are designed to relax your mind and help you fall into a deep restful sleep. Whenever we tap on one of these sleep meditations, we're gonna see that we're gonna see the same interface that we saw with singles, where we can download, share, favorite, and change the time. One of my personal favorites that we're gonna use as an example for this is gonna be Sleep River that we see right in the middle of our screen with Jeff Warren. Imagine if you will, again, if you're completely new to this concept, imagine when you're using Sleep River that you're lying in a mattress, floating down a river, staring up at the night sky and having Jeff Warren's voice lead you through the meditation on your way to a good night's sleep. So once you have all of your settings in place, again, we can see that we can download for offline content, share with other users, set it aside as one of our favorites, and of course, just as I'm doing here, tap on the time variable to choose how short or how long we want this particular meditation to be. Now, the last place that we haven't visited at the very bottom of our screen is gonna be our talks. If you don't have the time to meditate, but you would still like to stay connected with our 10% Happier community, this is where I recommend visiting our talks section. Our own Dan Harris likes to refer to these as short zaps of wisdom. Now, usually ranging from four to 10 minutes, these are short topics discussed by our meditation teachers usually relating to current events and or common challenges. Now, any of these can also be downloaded, favorited, and shared with other users as well. So now that we've learned a little bit about what content the app can provide, let's talk about some of the ways that we can now go further with the app itself. So I'm gonna have you follow along and let's go ahead and tap on profile at the very bottom. And then I'm gonna tap on the back arrow at the top left so I can go to where it says my coach. So on this profile screen, I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit further. And let's say for instance, that you ever have questions about meditation or would like to discuss next steps in your own individual meditation practice, which is a very common thing as we're all getting started with something as new and kind of exciting as this. So one of our coaches will be a great resource to reach out to, and you're gonna do so just by following along with the steps that I'm gonna give you here. I'm gonna tap on where it says, ask a question. We're now gonna see that again, we have different meditation coaches. And I do wanna point out that one individual coach has been assigned to you when you originally sign up. You will see multiple teachers on here, but when you choose the option that says, new conversation, which again is going to be with the little send arrow right next to it. I'm gonna tap on that red tab. It's then gonna give me the ability at the very bottom to start a conversation. So if I tap there, we can see my blinking cursor. I can then ask my question, connect with one of our meditation coaches. And as you can see on the screen right here, our coaches generally respond within 24 hours on weekdays and slightly longer on weekends. But again, as you're developing this meditation habit, this can be a great resource for you. And I do wanna go ahead and also take a moment for Karen to mention another service that is going to be available for you directly through your Harvard channels as well. Roy, let me just share this screen and take a moment to let you know that these coaches are wonderful um, through the 10% Happier app to help you with your mindfulness practice, answer questions that you might have along the way. However, we do find sometimes, and especially in these trying times that we're all living in, we need someone to actually talk to a little bit more than just about your meditation practice. And in some cases, meditation can actually start uncovering some really uneasy feelings inside. We want you to be reminded of a service that we have available to all of our benefits eligible faculty and staff in all of their adult household members. And it's our EAP. They're available, counselors, trained counselors are available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week to talk about anything that you might have on your mind that you might need to sort out with. And we don't want you to forget about this free confidential resource um, because we also understand again that the meditation 
especially in trying times, might uncover some unrest within you, um, we want you to know you have someone to talk to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, confidentially. So with that, I am going to, oh, we have a question, let me just see. Okay, um, very good. I'm going to uh, give it back to Roy to continue. Fantastic, here we go, oops. Okay, so as you can see, when we were in coaching, we were back into our profile. Now, I, you can see directly above this that we are gonna have mention of our favorites. And this was something else that I wanted to point out, which I think can be very helpful within the beginning moments of your 10% happier experience. And speaking back to that original um, moment of myself two years ago, I received this app for the first time. I see there's a bunch of wonderful content within it, but I don't necessarily know what I want or what to set aside for my own personal choice. The favorite section can again be very empowering for your own particular journey. And as I tap on favorites, you're gonna see that a couple of these that we have set aside today are now going to be in that particular section. Now let's also say, because again, just as we can, just as we can have favorites, we can easily lose favorites. So let's say for instance, that br breath relaxation is something I no longer wanna be able to include in that. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on where it says breath relaxation. I'm gonna tap on the heart in the top right corner once again, and now that is no longer part of my favorites. So when I tap on the X, I'm now only gonna see that one single choice directly in there. Now the last resource I wanna be able to show you is we're gonna go right back to our settings one more time, and let's talk a little bit about our 10% Happier podcast. You're gonna see that in the iOS, we can go directly to the bottom where it says listen to our podcast and when i tap on this it's going to take you to our 10percent.com podcast page we're now working to deliver around two new episodes every week featuring dan harris and a wide variety of teachers and voices from the meditation community these can be accessed wherever podcasts are found and if you're ever conducting a search make sure you type in 10 percent happier with dan harris now, as you can see, all of these things that we have shown you within these couple of minutes are a great resource to be able to come in and get started and feel more comfortable with using the 10% Happier app as well. So we understand that in these beginning moments, there's always gonna be questions. And I really wanna be able to emphasize that in addition to Josh and myself being here, we are part of the 10% Happier support staff and we're always happy to answer these questions for you within any type of device or application within a device that you're using, comfortability really takes a big step towards confidence, which then helps to better be able to utilize everything that's possible within it. Now, I know this 10 or 15 minutes didn't give us the chance to explore everything within it, but I hope that it makes you comfortable in these first couple of moments. And I really just wanna, on behalf of Josh and myself, emphasize how excited we are that you're joining us in this 10% Happier community. We want to thank you so much for, for your attention this morning, and we're happy to answer any questions for you going forward. Again, welcome, and uh, thank you very much. Roy, I can't thank you enough. That was fantastic. I learned so much. I'm so excited to get back to it. And I've been using it for a while now. So um, that is wonderful. We will open it up for questions. If anyone has a question, you can either type it into the chat or you can unmute yourself and speak. I don't, I think we can manage that. And if it becomes a little challenging, then we can always, um, I can unmute you as well. So um, I just hear it, see a thank you for this. Very clear and helpful, excited to get started. Any questions about any of the content? Does it say a history of what we watched and listened to? Yes, absolutely. So I'll just jump in, um, Josh, from 10% Happier customer support as well. So as Roy was showing you on the profile tab, if you scroll down below where my coach is, there is a my history section. So you can tap there and that'll take you to a list of 
the whole history of all the content you've played in the app so you can revisit it, you can favorite it from there, and you can see what you've done. All right, let's see. Can we download the app on more than one device or let a family member also use it on their personal device? Uh, so you can certainly download the app on as many devices as will support it uh, based on that operating system. You can sign into your same account on multiple devices. Um, you're certainly welcome to share that with a family member if they're logged into your same account. It will not allow them, of course, to create a separate account because they would need the Harvard email address for that access. So right now, the free access to the 10% Happier app is available only to benefits eligible, full benefits eligible faculty and staff. I will say that I'm working with Josh on making um, perhaps it available at a discounted rate of some sort for your family members. More to come on that as we continue our conversations. But this is intended for um, faculty and staff only at this time. Uh, let's see, we've got history, we can do it on more than one device. Um, can I be sure that my usage won't get linked back to me? Can I be anonymous? Uh, it's so technically you can't be anonymous in the sense that you need your particular primary Harvard email to uh, establish your identity to authorize the free subscription through Harvard. However, we you would be anonymous in the sense that nobody will have access to that data and without your express consent or request, we won't be accessing any of your usage data except for in supporting you. I don't know, if, Karen, there's anything else you'd like to say about that from the Harvard side? Sure, I think um, also to just clarify as well is that we may get report numbers from the 10% Happier team on who's enrolled and we need to check eligibility occasionally, but we will not have access to anything that you're accessing within the app. So whatever you do within your app is private and stays to you. We will never get a report saying Karen Kelly has watched three sleep episodes or whatnot. So um, hopefully that helps you understand that, yes, we'll know you have the app downloaded, we need to check eligibility. Uh, we'll probably do that on an annual basis, um, but we won't know anything that you're looking at or using within the app. Is that right, Josh? That's right. Okay, awesome. Um, and do we uh, have recommendations based on our history? Oh, uh, that's a great question. We don't currently offer recommendations kind of like a Netflix might do of you've watched this so you might like this but it's a feature that we've gotten requested and we're looking into how we would offer that. Um, someone downloaded the app um, and wants to validate membership. That is a question for the Office of Work Life Mailbox. If you want to send uh, your question along there, we can investigate it for you and if you are benefits eligible, we'll make sure you're set up correctly. Um, in terms of what gets sent to Harvard, okay, good, we got that. I'm sorry, uh, how do we get at the podcasts? They missed that part. Um, so in your settings, which again, you get to from your profile tab, the icon in the top right corner with the gear icon, that'll take you to your settings. From there, you can link out to our website where you can play the podcast. You can also go to any podcast player like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, et cetera, and just search for 10% Happier with Dan Harris and find it there as well. Entirely free and available anywhere podcasts are found. Excellent. I think I've got all the questions. Does anyone have any other questions um, before we go? Just double checking all of the chat. Let's see, I think that's everything. Oh, can you say more about the coronavirus sanity section of your web, perhaps? Uh, sure, so um, there's actually uh, both a section in the app itself under the singles tab, there is a topic called coronavirus sanity. Um, and so that's a curated section of meditations that are offered um, that are freely available to everybody. Of course, you have access to everything in the app, so that's not a problem. Um, and those are really geared towards coping with the stress of these times we're in. 
We do also have a, a similar section that's available on our website that's externally facing. You don't need the app to access it entirely free to the public if you have friends or family members that you'd want to refer there as well and has curated content from our app uh, that's really geared towards managing resilience during these trying times. Excellent. Yes, I've, I've actually gone through some of their excellent. Thank you, Josh. I have someone here saying when I finish meditation, it always says zero mindful days, zero stats. It doesn't show totals. How, what should they do about that? Yeah, so if you want to email us and the customer support team, that would be a great thing for us to look into with you. You can uh, either email us directly or within the app under your settings, you can hit the support section and hit contact and it'll send an email to us directly. Be happy to look at that. Excellent, thank you. Is there a computer version of this or do we only access from the app? So there's no desktop version of the app. It's only available for mobile devices on iOS and Android. Um, but there is, uh, we do have a website that has some resources like the coronavirus sanity section as well. Any other questions? Well, I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, what a great group. Roy, Josh from 10% Happier, thank you so much for your time. I've learned so much, so I am sure everyone else has as well. We are recording this session, um, and we will put it out on Harvey uh, in the 10% Happier page. Um, and I will also send the link to that once we get it up and going so that you will have access to it and you can share it with your colleagues, with your employees. Um, please keep in mind this is available for the full benefits eligible faculty and staff for free only at this time. Anyone can sign up for 10% Happier um, on their own individually. Um, and we are delighted to have um, you both here today. Uh, Roy and Josh, thank you very much. And I will do one less. I don't see any more questions, so we will finish up. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a great rest of your day and have a wonderful 10% uh, happier week. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate it. Bye now. Bye-bye.